Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stacy. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your continued support in watching my content, liking, subscribing, and sharing, doing all those nice things on my videos. So today we'll be talking about the activities you can do when you visit Kakamega County, especially the area around Kakamega Town. um so i really hope i'm very audible like i'm audible enough and i'm very clear uh first and foremost you can visit the cry stone the crying stone is uh, a particular site located at ilesi along the kakamega kisumu road and it is cheap it is 150 shillings only so that you can be able to go see the particular crying stone like if there were like the seven wonders of kenya that could be among them like it's a really incredible site but yeah that is one of the things you can see you can visit and it is extremely cheap it's 150 shillings only for the residents of kenya or kakamega if you're a uh like an unresident you have to inquire for those particular prices but yeah that is it it's also a picnic site if you see like 150 shillings you cannot spend just to go see a rock you can also use the grounds as a picnic site it's very scenic and apart from this or we can classify this as number two oh, come on is the pork centers in that particular area like at Ilesi, you can get the most amazing meat the most amazing pork in the hotels around like there is just a hotel there i don't know the name crying stone hotel or it is just like a very small hotel located at that particular place near the crying stone if you just ask any local around to show you where the best pork place is they will take you directly to that particular hotel so yeah you can use that hotel for the best amazing pork meat you can find around Kakamega like I'm not even lying. Another activity which I had forgotten to mention I'll around the ELC center. Go to the ELC pottery center where they make pots like those decors, crafted decorating things for your home. You can purchase you can see how the craftsmen are working doing most artistic work at that place. So it's like a excursion for just a whole day you can plan your whole day you start at maybe the pottery center then go take lunch then afternoon just relax with your snacks and everything by the crying stone like isn't it a fun day it will be such a fun day like i should plan a trip for just doing that and i know like most of us are locals here in kakame most of us have never thought about visiting Ilesi, like you have it like it's just a stone throw distance away from your home and you have never even thought of visiting and supporting your local tourism centers like what kind of patriotic kenyans are you and i told you i have written them down on my notebook on my phone and i'm gonna be reading them for you yeah because i want to be precise i want to tell you correct things i don't want to fumble around and tell you things which are not correct like most youtubers do uh the next activity you can do by yourself or with your friends with your family you can take a nature trail or a walk at the kakamega forest and towards the end you like see the isyoho falls which are like the main attraction is it the main attraction of the place no because we have birds you can see if you're lucky enough you can see some monkeys you can see some snakes yeah when you choose to visit kakamega forest like most tourists come to kakamega forest to just study birds and most of them stay at the rondo retreat center yeah this is another place which you can choose to stay at if you want to stay like or if you're if you're not a local around kakamega you can choose to stay at rondo retreat you can choose to stay at luvambo forest resort they are just like extremely near the particular forest just near the kakamega forest you have the liranda hills or is it the Liranda Caves. Yeah, this is another place you can choose to visit when you are in Kakamega. So, as we keep discussing more about the Kakamega Forest, we have another hotel which is like scenic. Is it a campsite or a hotel? Scenic, it's called Kampia Lucky. It's like a few kilometers from Kakamega Forest 
And I'm telling you, this is like a revolutionary place in Kakamega. I've never seen anything like this. I visited that particular place once and I've never seen anything like this. Like they have made the hotel out of like a forest and we have benches like in the when you sit inside those benches you will feel like you're sitting in a forest like your roof is the forest i mean how beautiful is that how creative is that and like you know like uh, most bars they have like the bar section where they put their bottles but their particular bar they put their bottles on a wall like do you get the picture i'm gonna insert some of the pictures you can see them uh throughout this video and the most amazing thing which i liked is that they have like an area a stone area where you when you stand on top of that stone you can see the whole of kakamega forest like how amazing is that the views there are just spectacular the area is serene it's quiet it's perfect for when you just want to go and unwind relax and i'm not talking of uh, this this particular place sponsoring this video or anything is just a place where i went and i liked the particular area you get me so yeah so another thing you can do or another activity you can do when you're just a local around kakamega or when you're visiting kakamega is try out the mutura in the area like the specific place i can send you to is the mutura opposite super love bakery you know people who get me people who get it get it like the mutura that particular place is like top notch amazing people flock this particular area i'm telling you in the evening journey after work after school people flock that particular area you will find students you will find even big people parking cars like that you know just for a taste of mutura so um my guys are you bored yet of course you're not bored i'm so interesting i'm so funny like duh is <laughs> visiting the nabongo cultural center and the nabongo cultural center holds like the the culture all the culture of the wanga people it has all the artifacts it has like the royal regalia i also have a video on this channel showcasing the nabongo cultural center you can go check it out they have like a scenic environment they also have a restaurant but the restaurant what i noticed is that they do have most of the food like the traditional food they don't have the traditional wanga food or the food for the people of mumia's area like they don't have those food you'll find chips you'll find kuku but when you go looking for kunde saga with ugali ugalia wimbi ugalia brown you will not find it there and i don't know why so yeah but that is another area you can choose to visit and it's extremely cheap actually it's free as we went for free me and my two friends we went we were there for free and we saw all those sites we saw all those things we even saw the graves of the mumias all the three mumias are they three or four yeah and if you're wondering who the mumias are they are the kings of the wanga kingdom the only royal family in kenya that is visiting the rostaman mines but it's not like really an exciting place to go because people will be walking there and like there's so many things going on around there but it's a site if you're into gold you can choose to visit that mining site and see for yourself where but some part of the gold is being like drilled or uh, where how gold is drilled and brought out like things like that i don't know i've never visited this particular place myself but i've been around the area but reaching just the mining site exactly where they remove those gold chunks i've not visited but i've been around the area like when you touch the mchanga or the ground or the grass you can see those tiny tiny particles of gold but i don't know how they come up with those big chunks of gold like i literally don't know how they do it we have malls around kakamega and we have holden mall we have mega mall and we have the new catholic mall which is almost done and i'm so excited i'm gonna give a review on this channel of everything and anything in that particular mall i hope they just allow me to take videos of that mall because all the other malls they do not uh give permission for people to take pictures or videos like but i hope this particular mall people will be enlightened and they'll give me a chance to shoot so yeah we have mega mall it's an area you can choose to visit mega mall has hotels it has that 
playing station area where dudes flock the particular area. I don't know why girls do not like playing stations. Personally, I like playing PlayStation, but not like literally FIFA or those dudish games. I like specifically virtual reality. If they, someone introduces virtual reality in Kakamega, like they will take all my money. And then uh, there are hotels like like uh, catch fries there are hotels like uh, Kuku Joint which is the other one Morgan Coffee House Morgan Coffee House has a really nice ambience and it's best for evening coffee like you know that time when it's cold and you need somewhere to relax just take coffee or go on a date like this is a perfect area to go to in the evening for just a hot cup of coffee i like 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 the place i've had the chips for catch fries they are amazing their budgets are like top notch out of the roof out of this world and I am just so excited to tell you guys this thing. So Holden Mall, that is for Mega Mall. Holden Mall, there is Chan- Chandarana there. <laughs> the biggest supermarket in Kakamega, Chandarana is there. What else is there? There is Vovo Cafe. Vovo Cafe is a go-to cafe. I'll also do a separate video for the best places or the best dining areas or lunch areas in Kakamega where I'll be situating these particular hotels, I'm telling you. And then I, I, I saw they also introduced like a, like a coffee house there, but I don't know the name properly. There's also a cake house, like a cake area. Uh, on Is it the second floor or the third floor? It's an, a cake restaurant or a cake cafe there so yeah molden mall doesn't have so many holden mall doesn't have so many activities but yeah it's there and you can choose to visit just to take a look window shop do things yeah and then opposite which is another activity you can choose to do uh we have buhungo stadium that is opposite holden mall and the buhungo stadium is an area where athletes especially the athletes for this western kenya like teams football teams play their games there so when they play their games or when they have their games scheduled they tell people to come and see them or people just go there to have a look at their teams their sons their children playing over there and it's an activity you can do when you're around kakamega and that it's cheap i think it's usually free entry and just carry your drink so you carry anything which you can eat and you can see people playing football or rugby it's actually enjoyable and another thing which is famous in this area is the bullfighting we also have bullfighting is it always at malinya grounds yeah and it's annually so the person responsible for this is our senator like senator boni halwale he organizes this particular bullfighting where they take different bulls from different places they go fight at the malinya grounds people really enjoy these activities and you can also choose to go and watch them as well and i don't recommend to go watch bullfighting because what what if those bulls they just go rogue and attack you from there hey personally i've never gone to a bullfighting i i like specifically prefer if they could just have someone record these fights and then people could just watch it from maybe youtube or somewhere if you like a quiet place or a place for a picnic per se you can choose to go to mount ingolomosio but the specific reason for this mountain is that people go here to pray we also we we also had some rumors like some politicians when it's almost time for elections they go to this particular area they pray and at the end they end up winning the elections because they just went to Mount Ingolomosio too. So last but not least we have the Muliro Gardens. Everybody knows Muliro Gardens. Who doesn't know Muliro Gardens? You know, you remember when it was trending for some funny funny things, but they actually revamped it. It's actually very very nice right now. You can choose to go sit there, just have an ice cream from the hokazu hok around there yeah you can choose to take your pictures there there are photographers who are usually there or you can call me i can come take your pictures you can just chill to choose to chill at that particular area it's very nice except people like see it as a common area especially the locals if you tell someone hey tend to relax in little garden say hmm 
Mulero Gardens here in Ikaitu home. So yeah, those are just some of the activities you can choose to do when you're around Kakamega. If you have some more suggestions or if you know some more activities people can do, you can comment down below. We'll be so excited to sample some of the activities you have done particularly or personally video. If you enjoyed, kindly, 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 kindly leave a like. If you have not subscribed, oh my gosh, please, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you have a nice day if you're watching this during the day. I hope you have a nice night if you're watching this during the night. And yeah, goodbye. In the back of my mind, there's a memory. You were holding my hand tight, kissing